Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, it is said that determine the forces and member BT and the force is supported by all the pins in the loaded frame, right? So we have to find the reactions at the supports and we have to find the force in this BD member, right? So since it's the problem based on the frames and the machines, right? So in case of the frames, uh, what we have is that we have at least one member which have more than two forces, right? So in this particular frame, we have this ABC member which has more than two forces, right? So if, if I represent all the reactions at point A and D, right? So let's say that this is AX. If this is my positive X and positive Y axis, right? And let's say that the reaction at a y is let's say the reaction at a in the y direction is, let's say acting in this direction vertically downward and let's say that the reactions at d these are the assumed direction right so let's say this is dx and let's say this is dy right and if the force is acting at this point c in this direction so this bd member will apply the force on this ac member in this direction right so let me draw it right so this will be the force applied by this bd member on this ac right so in case of frames what we do is that we uh, look into all the members independently right so what we do is that we isolate each and every member we dismantle the frame and then we consider the equilibrium condition for each and every member of the frame right so now if i draw all these forces here right so here we will have this is a b c a b c member let me write that this is a b c right so this will be our a x reaction right similarly we will have a y reaction which will be acting vertically downwards right from here this is a y and here we will have that let's say that i write that this is b reaction right so here we will have that b reaction or the force of the member bd on this a b c member right so this is b this is not reaction right this is the force applied by bd member on this ac right so this is that b force so now uh, since we are required to find the forces in bd member and ax ay and dx and dy right so now if i consider this free body diagram and if i apply the summation of moment at point a equals to zero right so if we apply this uh, equilibrium condition so since we do not know ax and ay so then we will be able to find this b uh, this bd member force right this b force but to apply this equilibrium condition what we need to do is that we we are required to have this theta let's say that this angle is theta right so then we will be able to resolve this b force right so if i resolve this b force so we will have if we know this theta so then this will be let's say bx and let's say this will be by or we can say that this will be the cos component, right? We can say that this will be B cos of theta and this will be B sine of theta, right? So now if we resolve this B force along this, the length of this AC member, so then this cos component is not producing the moment about that point A, right? So only this sine component is producing the moment about that point A and this sine component is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point A. So we will write that B sine of theta and the perpendicular distance of this sine of theta from that point a is 0.8 right so i will multiply this with 0.8 and as we can see that uh, this 2.5 kilonewton force is acting vertically downward in the y direction right so we need to resolve this force in order to find the moment of this 2.5 kilonewton force about that point a right so if i resolve this 2.5 kilonewton force into its components right so it will have one component which will be acting in this direction and it will have one component which will be acting like this right and this angle we we need to find this angle right so if i draw a triangle like this we have this abc member is making 15 degrees uh, with the horizontal right and this if i draw a 
perpendicular to this line right and if we draw a perpendicular to this line right this is a perpendicular to this line this is a perpendicular to this line right so the force 2.5 kN force is acting somewhere here right and this is and that 2.5 kN force is perpendicular to this horizontal right so if this angle is 15 degrees then this angle is also 15 degrees right so this means that this 2.5 kN force is making 15 degree angle with this line now so if this angle is 15 degrees then this component is 2.5 cos of 15 degrees and similarly this one is the sine component so we will write that this is 2.5 sine of 15 degrees so now as we can see that this sine component is passing through that point a so it will not produce the moment about that point a so only this cos component is producing the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write minus 2.5 cos of 15 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point a is 0 0.8 plus 0 0.8 so this is 1.6 so we will multiply this with 1.6 and this will be equal to 0 right we have assumed that the counterclockwise moment is positive now what we need to do is that we need to find this theta right this theta if i draw a horizontal line here right so this bd member is making 45 degrees and if I draw a line parallel to this ABC here, right, so this is making 15 degrees, right, so if, if this angle is 45 and this is 15, so this angle is 45 minus 15, this is 30, right, and this line, this line is parallel to this ABC, so if this angle is 30, then this angle is also 30 degrees, right, so this means that this B force is making 30 degree angle with this ABC member, right, so this means that this theta is 30 degrees. Right, so now we can write that this is 0 0.8 B sine of 30 degrees and we can take this to the other side of equation. So this will be 2.5 cos of 15 degrees into 1.6 and we can find this B force, right, the force of BD member on this ABC member, right. So this is 2.5 cos of 15 into 1.6 divided by 0 0.8 sine of 30 degrees from this equation b equals to 9.66 kilonewton right so this means that member bd is applying 9.66 kilonewton force on this abc member at this point b right so now we know the magnitude of this b force at this point b right so in order to find a x and a y what we need to do is that we need to resolve this b force into its components along the x and y axis right so then we will be able to apply the summation of forces along x and the summation of forces along y equals to zero right so now as we know that this b force is making 30 degree angle with this a b c the, uh, the line from this a b uh, from this point a to c right so if if i draw a horizontal line here like this right so now as we know that if this angle is 15 degrees then this angle is also 15 degrees right so this means that this b force is making 30 plus 15 degrees so this b force is making 45 degrees with the horizontal as we know it from here as well right so with the x axis is this b force is making 45 degrees right so now if we resolve this b force into its components along the x and y axis is right so then we will have uh, this component this will be b x and then we will have this come this will be b y right and this angle is 45 so then this b x is b cos of 45 and this is b sine of 45 so now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0, so then as we can see that if, if this is our positive y direction, so this ay is acting in the negative y direction, so I will write minus ay, this will be plus by, right? So we will write this is by and minus 2.5 kilonewton, this is acting in the negative y direction, so this is equal to 0, right? So minus a y is equal to 2.5 minus b y and if if this angle is 45 degrees so then b y is the sine component right so we will write that this is b sine of 45 right so we can write this in 9.66 sine of 
45 degrees. So now this gives us minus a y equals to minus 4.33. So if we multiply minus sign with both sides, so then a y is equal to 4.33 kilonewton. Right, so since the sign is positive, so this means that the assumed direction of a y is accurate, right, is acting vertically downward. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 and if this is our positive direction, so now we will have this ax which is acting in the positive x direction. So I will write ax plus this bx and bx is again the cos component of b, right. So I will write that this is 9.66 cos of 45 degrees and this will be equal to 0 since this 2.5 kN force is acting vertically downward. So, this Ax is equal to minus 9.66 cos of 45 degrees. So, this gives us minus 6.83 kN. So, this means that the Ax reaction is acting in the negative x direction, right. So, the assumed direction is not accurate. It is acting in the opposite direction, right. So, if you want to find the magnitude of the reaction at A, so then the total reaction at A will be equal to Ax square plus Ay square under the square root, right. So, Ax is 6.83 squared plus 4.33 square. So, from this the reaction at A, the total reaction at A or the uh, magnitude of the reaction at A is 8.09 kilo Newton, right. And similarly, <coughs> the if we consider this BD member force, right. So, if we draw the free body diagram of this BD member, right. So, this BD member is applying this B force on this ABC member. So, as a reaction that ABC member will apply the same force on this uh, BD member, right. So, if I represent those forces, right. So, let us say this is that point B. So, this will be the force applied by this ABC member on this BD member, right. So, this is that B force. So, as we can see that this force is a compressive force, right. This is compressing this BD member, right. So, here at this particular point, we will have this B force as well, right. At this point D, this is that point D and this is that point B right. So, let me write that this is B, right. So, since we are asked to determine the force in, in member B D, so the force in member B D will be equal to the to equal to this B force, right. So, we can write that B D member force is equal to B which is 9.66 kilo Newton, right. And if we want to find uh, this D X and D Y, right. So, if if I add up this dx and dy by head to tail rule, so then we will have uh, the reaction at d in this direction, the resultant reaction at d in this direction, right. So, this reaction at d will be equal and opposite to this B force, right. So, this B force is applying, uh, sorry, this pin, pin d is applying the force on this BD member in this direction, right. So, as a reaction, this B D member force will apply the same force, but in opposite direction on that pin joint, right. But this, this force applied by this B D member at this pin joint D will be, the magnitude of that force will be equal to that point B. And this D force is acting in the opposite direction to this uh, force of B D member, right. So, this means that this B force is equal to D force, right, or this, the reaction at D will be equal to the force applied by B D member on this pin joint, right. So, we can write that B equals to D equals to 9.66 kilo Newton, right. So, this is the solution of this particular problem.